So this is the EOS M10, which allows you to get SLR quality photographs, but it doesn't have the ability to plug an external shutter release to it. Just the USB and the HDMI. And this section here is the memory card. There is no intervalometer option inside the camera itself in the menus or the options. That there is just a screw for a grip. So you don't have the ability to do time lapses with this that easily. But I'm a big fan of time lapses so I wanted to figure out a way to do it. Turn the camera on. I've recently just finished getting through the time lapse I made so that's why the battery's pretty much dead. These settings are quite general but if you want to make a time lapse they're pretty useful. Generally when I do time lapses I'm in motion so having f16 or f22 helps because that way you're sure that most things are in focus. I made sure that the camera was in continuous shooting mode because that way it carries on taking photographs so you don't have to worry about it. I also made sure that the aspect ratio was 16 by 9. This is because I intend to make it a full HD video. So it's a lot easier if I have the aspect ratio correct at time of shooting. Now I left the quality on large. To be honest, I wouldn't suggest this. You may want to go down to medium if you're just using these, or even small, if you're just using these for the time lapse and nothing else. The ISO, I set to 400, so it's decent, because like I said, a lot of mine are night time lapses, so I, want, I don't want too much noise. So going up in the ISO would cause way too much noise, so I take it down to something reasonable, and 400 is reasonable for me. Now, like I said, there's nowhere in the options for an intervalometer mode. So what I've done is quite low key. The thing from a GoPro, the little door, above the shutter release and taped it down. And to stop it, you just remove it. And with that, you're able to get time lapses the Canon EOS M10.